John J. Hooker. The reason that I've been willing to have this interview is to try to encourage other people to be involved in the challenge to take on government and to be willing to be whistleblowers and to be willing to stand up and, and, and not let officialdom take over your life and not be so ignorant of what's going on that you don't have an opinion about it. Whether it's the CIA or what's happening in, in Ferguson or in New York and uh, six guys standing around and, and killing one uh, black person. Well, what an awful thing. Uh, 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 is that who we are? That can't be who we are. That, this damn sure not who we want to be. And yet it is. And so uh, uh, I have lived my life in the twilight here in the last 20 years or so. Uh, I'm 84 years old now. Uh, I, I'm trying to challenge the abuse of power. And I'm going to do it to the day I die. And a large part of that came from uh, uh, what we need now is somebody who has some national stature, which I don't, to do the same thing on the national basis that I'm doing on the local basis. Like I'm challenging the, these judges who've been unlawfully elected. We've got, nine, we've got 29 judges sitting up there who uh, absolutely were elected outside the rule of law. And, and so I'm going to continue to fight about that, and I can do that. It's Tennessee. It's a local situation. And I can do, uh, uh, that's something that's in my range. What we really need is somebody who does the same kind of thing that I'm doing about these judges, about the CIA, and about what's happening in, in the uh, 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 police world. And we need another Martin Luther King. We need somebody else who will come along and talk about peace and, and dignity and human life and, and, and be willing to risk their lives for it, like Bobby risked his life. Uh, got shot in 68. Martin risked his life, got shot in 68. I really thought in 70 that a hell of a good chance I was going to get shot. Bobby had been shot. Martin had been shot. I was over there uh, against the war in Vietnam, carrying the banner for civil rights. People would spit when I'd walk up to him and try to shake hands. And so I have had the great good fortune to fall in love with an idea. I've also had the great good fortune to fall in love with a couple of women. And there's no substitute for falling in love with a, but, it, but an idea. The, uh, an idea, you know, you never fuss with an idea. You never have any uh, uh, an idea. Mm -hmm.